go video. Hmm, here we go. Got this in a free pile. <clears throat> this little Aurora clock. Nice piece. Hey, how's it going? Justin's hand flipping. All right, we're gonna do another uh, haul video for uh, May 18th, 2019. Um, to say, I'll oh, start with an um, sure. So, I spent a hundred and seventy dollars for everything I'm gonna show you. There's some pr pretty good pretty good items uh, there was definitely some deals to be found uh, all this stuff is gonna be coming from a yard sales and uh, I think one estate sale and some dumpster finds so uh, I got some stuff comped out already uh, pretty easy grind and yeah, let's uh, just get right into it. Uh, we'll go through some of the bulk items real quick um, because those are those are definitely a long process, and um, I can show you where we can get some money back right off the cuff. So, all right, let's go. So we're in the we're in the uh, dining room i guess you want to call it it's going to be the kitchen soon we're going to be opening this up and putting in a beam and this will be all one big area put a nice you know big farm table right here or something and uh, maybe like a wrap around wrap around seating thing that's kind of the plans so We'll show you some haul to uh, pay for that. All right, laser discs. This guy sold me all these laser discs and these two huge boxes and that pile of sheet music. This is all sheet music, um, uh, mostly piano. So this is old piano music that's what we got and then all these so there's about a hundred yeah there's about a hundred uh, laser discs so at a dollar we're we're at a uh, hundred some of these aren't probably worth a dollar, but we kind of separated them out a little bit. So I got a pile of uh, Star Trek back there. There's about 10 of them. Those could do about $30. Uh, this is a pile of uh, action. That's probably another $30, $40 pile. There's about 10 horror that could do 50 possibly. Uh, 10 comedy, which is probably like 10 or 20, and then some uh, extras, you say, with the 10 or 20. And then this was probably going to pay for everything that I just probably bought, and then some profit. Uh, this pile here. This is all uh, 007. There's about 18 of them. Uh, it's, I don't think it's all of them, but... Um, it's it's a nice it's a nice lot <clears throat> of uh some 007 so i've seen some lots go like that for about a hundred so i'll do i'll do like 120 on that one um and then we got these three batmans those could do 20 Batman's pretty hot right now. Um, everyone loves Batman. And then the uh, Star Trek uh, motion picture sealed. 
that probably would do 30. So we're at 100, let's see, 100, eh, about a 250, maybe 300 in Laserdisc right there. So that's, that's, that's really good. That's, that's a good find. Um, that's probably no exaggeration too, because I, I comp those out. Those, those are going to do a hundred, um, plenty of bids on the lot that sold. People have been selling lots because one, once one sells, people start looking for those or whatever. So those are going to do good. And then, I mean, grind it out. You see what I got there. Uh, the sheet music. This is just one long grind. I have another box of sheet music, probably about this size, that I'm just going to add to my pile. And uh, I'll just uh, end up processing it at one point, maybe, you know, when I get bored or through the winter. But some of these can do. They range from a dollar to a thousand each, so... Who knows what's in this, in this lot. Um, I don't really want to get too deep into these, but yeah, we don't want to go too deep into these. If I start showing you these, I'm going to be processing these, but there's probably some good stuff in here. Uh, enough rambling about that stuff. Um, we got this stinger bug killer as a uh, one acre. This is sealed. This has got the old seal on it. I'm undecided on opening it. It's got the uh, it's got a cod that came with it for, for the gift. Um, I mean that's that's gonna sell that right alone that cod. I'll slap that on eBay. I already made the listing for that. I'm going to do 80 on that. That's kind of what it consistently does um, in that condition. Uh, sound design. I didn't comp this out at all. It's kind of an interesting radio. So we paid three bucks for this radio and all these tapes. The tapes were technically free. And I just felt bad by taking all the tapes and I'm like, I'll take the radio just so you don't have to throw it away. If I grind these out, I, I think I could do a hundred. I didn't look up any of them. I looked up a couple of them, shall I say. Uh, what did I look up? Ta -ta -ta -ta. I could possibly that could possibly do good. It's kind of weird. Um, somebody's selling this for ten. There's only one person selling it, so I could jump on board with that one. So there's other ones that you know you never know. You gotta look them up. Um, that's a lot of that's a lot of looking up. But we'll spend the time doing it. We got all this for a dollar right here. Uh, wife's sharing a video. Well, we're making a video. So, for a dollar, I got a pair of Y's, a nice hammerhead. Two, two Russell Jennings and a good gauge. It's not the best gauge, but uh, I could sell this for about five at the flea. I got a guy that always comes for the gauges. So, um, sorry, this isn't really staying super focused. Uh, this was, I left this in the truck 
when I went yard sailing. So that that was in the truck. That was from last week's haul. Um, I already made some ads for some of this stuff. We got an Aerosmith box set. Uh, sealed, this does about 70. Sorry for the lighting. Um, it's got like a matchstick on it. That's how you know you, that that's the one that does it. Uh, the if sealed does 70. This does about 20 or 30 bucks. It's missing a disc. So in that condition, 20, 30 bucks. This Pandora box does like 10. That's complete. I gotta look up this Travel and Wilbury. That's sealed, so that could do 10 or 20. So you 2 live in Boston. That could do 5 or 10. We got two combo players. One's a Samsung, which is good. And then the other one is like some generic generic brand, Sylvania or something. Those were five. Uh, one was one was this this lower one here was um, three bucks. This one was five bucks. So not too bad. This was a dollar. Polaroid. Sell it as parts. These were free. Little vintage catch things. I don't know. These could do twenty. They're kind of weird. I wouldn't want to ship them though, so um, maybe five bucks at the flea. Um, two cameras, uh, three cameras. We got the Pentex MG. Uh, and I'd just do that in parts for 20. That's a Nikon uh, FE. That's 30 in parts. And this one, I'll have to look this one up. I didn't look it up yet. Focus for you. Sorry, shake all around. Kind of interesting. Yeah, maybe twenty bucks. Some VHS. We got Roger Rabbit. That's classic. Uh, kids. This is a you know obviously people seen that one. Um, the Wall. Live in Berlin. And uh, the Wizard. Uh, wizard comped out at about ten, so uh, yeah, ten bucks. I think I paid. Um, I got pretty much the Aerosmith, this and those. I think it was like ten bucks altogether. So all this Revere wear. We got for 10, all of its Revere wear, everything. It was all in one big box. Um, three, four skillets, five big pots, but well, four mediums, a, 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 a larger medium, uh, two big pots, and then all the lids, uh, a Revere mixing bowl, and then some other uh, BS stuff that wasn't really worth anything. Um, so yeah, 10 bucks for all that. That was a good deal. Um, we got some kitchen knives. We paid a dollar for these. Those are all made in Japan. Um, they're not nothing great. Mastercraft stuff or something like that. Um, and then... As for the tools, I think we're left. I think we're left with the tools. Yeah. So, tools and dumpster finds. Farmhouse sign and the two welcome signs we got of the dumpster, which that was kind of cool. This one's like just beat up a little bit and patinaed out and dinged up. Yeah, that's free. That's nice. We'll use that. This pile here is all free this was at like a um it's 
Someone is having a yard sale, but they just had their table out and uh, just had everything for free. Let's check it out. Nice little snips and some needle nose. You know, rigid pipe cutter. Got some pl plumbing. There was some other things. I left some other things behind, but nothing great. Um, mainly some screwdrivers and stuff. A couple um, mess hall knives. Yeah, some horse horseshoeing coffin. Um, it's like nice trimo. So this could do about thirty. We got a. It's a blue gem. A blue gem head. Some more little snips and two drivers. A pair of scissors. A couple of um, 50 foot uh, tape measures. This Aurora that we started with. This was free um, at the place with the Revere Wear. And then these clamps. So these are Georgians. And know this brand. It's a good brand for uh, clamps. Uh, you saw all the time, even rusty. So this this works. Um, it it looks bad, but the crank still works. It's not seized. It could use a little cleaning, but it's not too bad. Um, so all three of those would do about 35-ish, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. So that's a free 35er right there. Got 35 here. Um, we got easy five bucks right there. Um, and then, you know, grind it out at, you know, a couple bucks. There's a hundred dollar free pile right there. You know, with the clock. Yeah, that twenty dollar beaner, maybe. Easy ten broken, so um yeah, that's a good that's a pretty good free haul right there. Alright, now we're gonna get into the machinist stuff. This was all in one haul. I bought all these tools in one shot for 60 bucks. I'll get to this stuff actually in two seconds and I'll just cover the other couple random chunks that way I don't have to break, break down where I got them or whatever. This thing got for a dollar. It's, it's, it feels brass. I put a magnet on it. It it, it could be copper, but um, it's a good piece. Different. Ten bucks on the shelf, I guess. So we got these vintage salt and peppers. It's a nice orangey red. I thought it was kind of cool. Clean them up, get them to shine a little bit more. It'd be nice. Little mini stapler. These were bought at the all the same spot. I kind of grabbed all red stuff. I grabbed the two tapes, two Sony tapes, the salt and pepper, and the little stapler. Three bucks for everything. I, I actually no, I don't think I paid three. I paid two. She said three, and I just shook my head no. And, and she said, well, what do you want to pay? And I said, two. <laughs> I'm such a haggler. Um, and then with this dollar here, uh, this is kind of funny, too. I should have got this on video. Uh, <laughs> I should have got that one on video. I should have got, got all this on video. Um, this one, I paid a dollar for these five items, which, I mean, I wouldn't have paid five for them. Maybe, like, three bucks would have been pretty good for me. I would have been like, yeah, three bucks. All right, that's fine. But if someone said five, like a dollar each, I'd kind of be like, no. 
even though it'd still probably be a good deal because I could sell that for five and I mean I, I could still get 10 out of it so that's still doubling my money but she said a dollar and I said do you have change for a hundred <laughs> so I broke a hundred to um, buy these five items for a dollar that was that was pretty classic um, then the machinist stuff so all this I paid 60 bucks for everything on that table there. The ammo box, the toolbox, all the all these are craftsmen, all these sockets, all this stuff's craftsmen. Um, and I think one thing's like snap on. Um, pretty good pretty good lot of uh um, uh, a whole lot of, uh, sockets. I don't know why I got the um in there, but I'm getting the ums. Got the ums today. So, I got this hand crank, uh, egg beater. Egg beater hand drill. That's a good one. It, uh, it, uh, <laughs> I can't help it. The, um. Oh my god. The handle comes off and I can I can pack it a lot easier. I'm kinda of like watching the video and watching what I'm doing at the same time. It's kind of kind of a pain. That's kinda of why I got the ums. I'm just focused on like both things at the same time. Here's a Stanley. This does five to ten big beater drill. This shovel is a Vietnam. I think it's a Vietnam. Uh, it's earlier, actually. So it's a 52. So it's a, I think, I think that's early. I'm not sure I gotta do my dates again. Not up to date on my dates, sorry guys. But that's a military issued field shovel. It's a good piece. Hold up. That could do for 30 to 40. Focus. Focus. It could do 30 to 40. You get this. It's a salt and pepper on a stick. Salt on one side, pepper on the other. It's a nice piece. Gotta clean it out, but it's not the best handle, but it's definitely cool design. I like that. That's a nice camp piece. A little scrap of Ruski. It's probably two or three bucks right there. And scrap. A couple hand crankers. I'm I'm undecided. I. I, I might just do this as a lot right here, like this little setup right here, 30 bucks. And then I'm going to make another one for that one at 30 bucks. And then I'm going to make this as a lot with the wrenches and the sockets at, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a hundred. I'm going to, I'm going to try for a hundred. I was going to do it all in one lot as a hundred. But I felt like that's kind of like a real moving it price, because you're getting all those those little um, you know, things to hold the sockets. You're getting all that too. That 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 would be a really good lot. I got some other stuff that I could throw in there too. But let me uh, cut this short, and we'll do it in a uh, two part. Be back. Alright, on with the rest of the haul. <clears throat> so we'll get into the machine and stuff. These are um, indicator stands. That's 
what an indicator stand looks like. Bunch of knobs, a base, a rod, a sharp rod. That's pretty complete. And then it would need this indicator mounted onto it. And you'd be ready to go on a <clears throat> ready to go on milling something. So we got what do we got? Five five there, six and a magnetic one. Magnetic one, that one's a star it. I think this one's a. I I think these two are star it. That one might be a star it. All these might be star it. Um, that one's got some magnetic too. Um, and then this one's probably like a general. So, <laughs> and this one's got an indicator. Star it. Indicator on it. So with uh, all that being said, oh yeah, caught it. So all that being said, I got these couple pieces with it. Some base pieces. There's a couple other pieces here and over here. Let me take a look at those. They just look like random chunks of metal, pretty much. These X, X shaped ones. <sighs> so that's about a hundred. Then we're going into this clamp. It's an uh, 180. It's a 180 clamp, uh, unbranded. I'm thinking 30 to 40 on that. Um, this indicator is a star. This is a um, last word. Sorry for the lighting. That's all I got. Um, last word. It's probably 30 to 50. That condition. Uh, I'm doing some short sale on these ones. Come on, focus, you little stinker. Uh, well, I'll have to keep a little distance. This is a nice pouch of uh, gauges. If I clean those up, that could be, I mean, that's 30 all day, but 50 to 60, I think. <clears throat> a couple hammers, about five, five uh, six calipers. That, that's probably 100 right there in calipers. Um, I showed you most of that already. Uh, some, you know, regular uh, flea market stuff. Nice pair of Ys. Uh, you know, some clamps add, to, add clamps add to the lot. Some files add to the lot. Bits. And yeah, we can make a bit lot. I save a lot of the shoulders. I save all those in a bag. Sell those by the bag. You can get like, they go by the pound. It's probably like 10 bucks a pound. Um, some nice punches. They could be doing a, um, 10 to 20. These parts could do 40 to 50. There's some other parts. These are tra transfer screw templates. There's another nice gauge here, uh, uh, depth, odd gauge here.
it could be worth something. Um, these speed wrenches do about 30-ish. Uh, I don't know if I said the punches do about 20. These transfer screws go with these transfer screw punches. And with all that, with all that could do a hundred. And um, this pile of different levelage squares and stuff. That's maybe 20, 30 bucks. All right, I'll show you these, and then I wanted to show you one more thing. So you get some lathe, lathe bits. Some are marked. Can't really see it, but some are marked. Um, some random metal. Another gauge. That's probably like 30 to 40. It's a nice hardy bit. That could be 20 bucks. You never know. All these uh, bench. I forget what these are called. Uh, steps? I think these are steps. These are all start steps. So just need to be cleaned up. And then I've got this. Nice indicator depth start with the case. Pretty much anything that looks like Kind of high end handles with numbers, gauging, uh, number tools, I guess you could call them. Focus. More light. So I guess that one's a start. It's a nice piece. So that, that, that's pro, that's probably a, a fifty. Sorry for the focusing. Let me get out of this mess. <coughs> and uh, we get the briefcase. That's gonna do about. Sheesh. I can never get some focus here. There's the briefcase. From what you can see of it. I'll lift that for about 50. I've already dropped it once, so I'm gonna drop it again. Dropped it once already. And then uh a couple of records and, and I wanted to show you the the rear wear handles. These are the shape. Bring them out in the light. Wow. Back just gave out. That's the shape of the rear wear handle. Basic pot, but you gotta look for that handle. It's got like a round little end, copper bottom. And then the lids. <laughs> this three rings so 
fixed over there where lid. All right, so that's that's about it. That's about it. So, um, yeah, didn't really save too much exciting stuff there, but um, should do a couple couple hundred out of that machine of stuff at least. So, eh, grind, 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 um, list, 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 and uh, that's what you gotta do to get the dollar. Uh, and uh, peace till the next haul. Laters.